Today, I'm delighted to confirm that under the musical direction of Guy Chambers, we'll be re-recording a cover of the classic song, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, in time to challenge, hopefully, for the Christmas number one slot. And I'm also delighted to announce that Robbie Williams has agreed to join the lineup of some of Britain's biggest musical talent. It's our intention to re-record the track used so poignantly by Everton Football Club in their tribute to the victims in the build-up to their first home game after the publication of the Hillsborough Independent Panel Report. In the last six weeks, the campaign for truth and justice has taken giant strides forward. The uncovering of the truth and the apology from the Prime Minister have been landmark moments. But most importantly for the families, the Attorney General has announced that he will apply to the High Court to quash the original unsound verdicts of accidental death. We don't know where the legal and judicial processes might lead us, and so it's proposed that a charitable fund is set up and made available to fund any potential legal costs in the future. Obviously, there's the, some fantastic news, and they just need to get it over the line now. And it'd be, if there's a financial problem in the way and the government don't want to fund it, then this, this investment or attempt to try and get to the Christmas number one uh, would be of, of great help to them. But uh, obviously they hope the government put their hand in their pocket because it's only because of the mismanagement of many other uh, bodies that, that we've come to this stage. So the people of Liverpool were fantastically close together. Uh, irrespective of who they supported it at the time that it happened. And I think uh, at the time it happened, there was a great coming together of the football and fraternity and families. And there was no, there was no favouritism towards anybody. Everybody realised how dreadful it was that happened. And I think now, 23 years on, that same feeling is, is in and around the football and fraternity. And more importantly, the general public, uh, which is fantastic for, for the family and everybody wants to go and help and do their little bit to, to try and help them achieve what they want and that's closure and some justice. And if this helps in some small way, then everybody will be delighted. And I'd like to sort of just announce that we've just heard that uh, on top of Robbie Williams doing it, we also have Paloma Faith, uh, Melanie C, Rebecca Ferguson, Beverly Knight and Shane McGowan as well. So as I say, it's just quite an interesting list. And um, I'm looking forward to the challenge of it. I grew up in Liverpool. I was there uh, in my teenage years, so I went to school there. And um, the, I have great affection for not only the music of Liverpool, but also the people's solidarity um, and their tenac tenacity as well. The fact that they've stuck with this for so long and haven't given up. So when I was asked by Keith from the farm to get involved, I was like, yeah, sure.